All right, next up is the flex item property. Okay, so flex item properties, we can affect the order of elements. We can uh, the grow or the shrink or the basis. Okay, and then there's flex and then there's align self. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just take a look at these in order here. So basically, what we can do is this is done through a style, um, an inline style, as opposed to just having a CSS rule in a uh, style sheet or in the head of the document. So this is just an easy way to get our style um, right on the element itself. So basically what's happening here is we're dealing with the order. <clears throat> so order, colon, and then we'll call out, there happens to be four elements, okay, so four div elements. So we're saying that the first div, okay, number one, is going to be order three, or in order three. That's why one is here. Then two, and then number three is set to fourth in order, and uh, four is set to first in order. So this is something that would have been a nightmare to do with floats, okay? So this is actually pretty cool, is you can now tell the order or call out the order of your elements. So in a responsive design, when you are dealing with changing how many uh, rows and columns or what content goes where, this could be very, very powerful for moving that content into an order or a position of your choice based on the width of the device and the layout that you want to create in that device. All right, so the next is Flex Grow. So in this case, again, we're using an inline style, but these could be done through um, regular CSS rules in the document or in a style sheet. But now what we're dealing with is the flex grow. And this is in percentages. So basically what we're looking at is this total width, whatever this total width is, let's just call it 100%. So now uh, flex grow one, this is set to one, this is set to one, and this is set to eight. And I really shouldn't say it's a percentage, it's, it's times, okay? So we can make the third flex item grow eight times faster than the other flex items. And that's this one here by setting the flex to eight. So if you wanna try this real quick, if we were to set, let's uh, go ahead and scroll down. If we were to set each of these to one and run, then they're going to be equal, all right? If we were to do four and 20, you get a sense that it's not like saying a percentage. It's not calling out um, an absolute number. It's just saying how many times faster to, to grow, all right? So this one's a little, I don't know, for me, this one's a bit more abstract because it's just X amount of times faster and I'm not getting to a specific value, but it's still pretty interesting. All right, let's go ahead and st take a step back here. And now we have the flex shrink property. So what we could say in this case, flex shrink, and on the number three, we're setting this one to zero. So this one, we're saying don't let the third flex item shrink as much as the other flex items. All right. So the reverse of the one that preceded. The flex basis, uh, basis property. This is where you can, or this is where you are able to now place an absolute on something. So Let's just do uh, let's just do a quick experiment here. So if we were to change instead of px, what if we did thirty three percent? Now I've not done this before. I'm just just gonna see what happens. I don't know if percentages will work here. Okay. 
So what if this were 13%? Okay, so percentages will work. So you can, maybe we need this to be, let's just try something crazy. We'll say 90%, okay? All right, so that's, that's pretty cool. We can use absolute, we can use relative units of measure, and we can tell certain elements to be either an absolute or a relative um, amount. All right, let's take a step back. And where are we now? The flex property. So basically, this is another one where you can do a shorthand. So in the flex property, you can call out flex grow, flex shrink, flex basis. And you would just do so with a, um, uh, a, little, a matrix, which could be pretty helpful. And the self align property. So this is basically if you have uh, elements that are different heights, and then you want them, in this case, to align center. Okay. You could also, I believe, flex start and flex end. So you could have an element up here. You could have one down here. So you can center, and again, at the start and the end. All right. We should be getting pretty close. All right. In the next video, we'll go ahead and we will deconstruct what's happening in this uh, responsive image grid.